Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can paint this baby snow leopard. So let's get started. I wanna start with my fine mist spray bottle and just put a couple sprays. And then I'm gonna take a size 11 flat brush and I wanna mix up a base color. And for that color, I want it to be gray. So I'm gonna take quite a bit of white paint just a titanium white and then I have a little bit of black on my palette here so it's going to mix together and make a gray color and let's see how that looks so I think that's a good gray a good shade of gray kind of a mid-tone and it's got a little bit of transparency here so I'm able to see the sketch underneath and if you want to get this sketch, just look at the description and I have a link to the sketch. So you could print it out or I like to use my iPad as kind of a light box to trace. And then put it on paper like I have. This is a five by seven sheet of paper. Or if you wanted to do this on canvas, you could do that. Okay, and that water that I sprayed is really helping me here. And while you're applying this first layer, it's good to use this large flat brush because it's going to help you kind of get nice, clean brush strokes and kind of a sculpted effect. You want to think about the direction of form while you are putting down these initial brush strokes. So I'm kind of moving here. I'm moving in the shape of where the fur is growing for the paws. You could kind of round your brush strokes to show the curve. And underneath here, it's a shadow. So that's just to place him on something so he's not floating in the air. When you get up here to the hair, you're probably, or the fur at the top of the head, you probably want to turn your brush so that you're using the edge of the brush. And I'm having to kind of keep mixing this paint. Okay, and then here I'm thinking about the direction of form as well. Where are their curves? Where are their straight areas? Which direction is the fur growing? Okay, and you just want to cover all of the paper here. And you might have to kind of step back and make sure that you covered everything. Sometimes when you get too close and you have that tunnel vision, it's hard to see what parts you might have missed, if any. I'm just covering up all of that white paper. And then I just need to get a little bit closer to the edge on this side. Okay, so that's good. So now on this next step, we want to put in some darker values. So I just want kind of a darker shade of black here mixing into the gray. And I want to put in the shadows. So where the ears are, you could put a darker value there. And I'm using this large flat brush still. You could switch to a smaller brush if you would like. And I'm seeing there's quite a bit of shadow underneath his face here. 
So be very careful and go around the bottom here with a darker color. And I see a lot of shadow down here. If your paint's getting kind of dry, go ahead and add another spray. That just helps your paint flow a little bit better. I could have to mix up a little more of the dark gray. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow right here. You wanna try to make it a little bit seamless, blend it in, but make sure that the shadows are showing dark here. Okay, maybe you look at around the face and I'm kind of going in the direction of form here as well. Let's get a little bit of a shadow underneath his eyes and I kind of left that in the sketch so you'll kind of know where to put that. And and I, I'm going to keep going here. This part here is in shadow. You can just see how quickly that acrylic paint wants to dry on you. Okay, so I think I need to switch to a different brush. So I'm going to switch to a smaller filbert. I have a size 6 here. And that's just going to help me get some of these more delicate areas. Got a darker shadow in the middle of the face. And the nose is going to be very dark and there's a little bit of a shadow above the nose. It might kind of blend blend some of these shapes if I see anything where there's not a very smooth transition I might want to go back and kind of blend that in so in between the toes there's quite a bit of shadow I'm just using the edge of this filbert kind of using it like it's a pencil almost It's a little bit more of a shadow over here. And under the mouth right here, he's got a cute little shadow. You can kind of go around the muzzle, the nose a little bit. Yeah, he's kind of looking like a little bear. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's a good base layer. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and add some more layers. Okay, so next I want to add some white values and I'm going to use a size 6 flat brush. Okay, so let's take the white and I'm just going to put in kind of areas that are that I want kind of highlighted. This is just kind of building shape and building form. So underneath here, I want quite a bit of paint for his mouth. Got a little bit too much paint there. And then on either side of his nose. And down here. So 
So I'm trying to be careful not to cover up the sketch too much, or rather to go inside where the sketch is. Okay, so I'm just carefully putting in those white areas. And then around the ear, I do kind of a white area there. Then this ear. Any place I want the lightest values, I'm adding this white. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that dry before we go to the next step. Now I'm going to block in some of the defining features of the face and I'm going to use a size 6 filbert to do that. So I want to do the eyes and let's carefully, I have this blue shade here which is a pretty dark blue and I want to carefully try to put the round irises in there very carefully. And that did cover up my sketch quite a bit. But that's okay. So I just have to try to be careful to make those even on both sides, which is a little tricky. Okay, and then I really want that to dry before I do any more steps with that. And then let's take some straight black and put in that nose. So I kind of lost it here, but I'm going to carefully try to put that nose shape in. Okay, and then again, when you don't have your sketch, it's a little tricky, but you want to make sure it's even on both sides. Okay, and let's switch. I have a size zero spotter. Let's take some black and see if we can kind of go around these eyes here. Kind of goes all the way down. Almost looks like he's wearing eyeliner. You know how cats have that thick eyeliner look. And it goes, wraps all the way around. And then I'll do that on this side. And if you lose your sketch at points, you can try to go back and put it back in there. And you could use a different color. Um, if you're working on a dark background, you could have like a, put a white chalk or a white pastel pencil. Okay. And then I see that his nose kind of goes up around the edges here. So let's see if you can put that in kind of a curved shape. And then he does have that shadow that goes underneath, so let's add that. Okay, and then 
Let's see if we can put a lighter blue. I have this kind of baby blue periwinkle color. And let's try to put that in here. See how that shows up. Just kind of a, a colored highlight inside the eye. And then I want to take some black and put an even more intense pupil in there. Really dark, dark black. And then let that dry. Okay, so his mouth has some little kind of spots here. So there's, you could put two little dots on both sides of the nose. And then he has some other little spots that are kind of where the whiskers come out of. So we've got, we'll do three on this side. I'm just kind of stippling here, kind of like stuttering with the brush shaking it sort of just to get that effect of like a jagged line okay so i'm trying to see if i have most of the details that i need okay so i think that looks good let's let that dry and then we'll come back and add some more details Okay, now that the eyes are dried, let's take that zero spotter, take some titanium white, and see if we can get a couple spots in here. Try to do really careful. Little marks for the white of the eye. And then while we have that white on there, let's see if we can make some whiskers. So it'll show up on top of the gray for the most part. Whoops. Need a little more paint. So we'll put them. Okay, and then when it goes off of the page, what you can do is do like a black and then just make them show up off of the page and we could even do that over here in some of those lighter areas these little whiskers okay i want to do a little bit more definition right here around the eye just has kind of an eyelid shape or an eyebrow excuse me Okay. All right, so you could add a little bit more color if you would like. I can take this size 11 filbert and I have some of this light brown and I could add a little bit of that brown to the piece, just kind of add it to a few different sections and kind of get some water to blend it in. It can just give me a variety of tone. Okay, so now let's add some spots. So when we have the larger brush, it's actually changed to this one is a size nine. So we'll take some black, and this is the filbert. And let's see if we can just add some little spots. This is kind of a fun part of the project. So just try to make them random and just make these little paint strokes. Okay, and then let's put some around the face. Again, just try to make them random so that they look natural. And think about your sizing as well. Look at which streaks or, sorry, look at which spots are gonna be 
smaller and which ones are going to be bigger. Like right here, they get pretty small. So just use a little bit of a lighter touch. And then in the middle of his face, the forehead, they might get a little bit bigger. Just try to vary your brush strokes and vary the shape of those spots. Just make sure you're not making anything very symmetrical. Add a little bit more of a shadow to the ear. Kind of blend some things here and there. So you can bring out your darks a little bit more at this point because that great contrast between the lightest lights and the darkest darks are what's really going to make your piece pop. So adding a little bit more black is going to help you. So let's add, I see a pretty dark spot here and then another one. And then going that way. And my strokes are getting kind of sparse there. That just means that I need to get more paint on my brush to get a nice clean spot. Okay, so you could let that dry completely. And then, like I said, if you wanted to add a little more warmth to it or more color, you could do just a little bit of tan paint. I would let all the spots dry first, however. And just add a little bit more of that tan color in certain spots. If you... Um, so that you don't have so much white. So it's not so black and white of a piece. Just add that little color. Okay, and then if you wanna do a shadow down here, you could do that. So what I might do for that really quickly is add some of this spray. Oops, careful not to add too much when the paint's still wet because you don't want it to run. But I'm going to try taking some blue and see if I could put it in here. Kind of like a watercolor. And then I can just kind of move that around. And if I wanted to, I can lift it up like this lift it vertically and see if it'll might have to encourage it to kind of run a little bit but that just gives kind of a neat abstract effect okay so we're going to call this tutorial done thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it i hope you got to paint along with me today thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye